Competition! Hey you YouTube, Dogpetition84 here and I'm profiling my cat deck. Um, and uh, it's actually improved since the last time I profiled it. Um, yeah, uh, for those who don't know, it's a random deck full of uh, monsters with cat in the name. Well, apart from the extra deck, of course. Um, uh, let's showcase it. So, to start things off, I'm playing three copies of Lunar Light Blue Cats. Um, yeah, normally I hate Lunar Lights. Then again, it's only because Neo Dancer and Kaleido chick exist. Like, so infuriating. Like, Leo Dance is an OTK card with fuck all weaknesses, and Kaleido chick makes it so I can't do anything to defend myself in the battle phase. Like, literally, if those two cards didn't exist, I wouldn't have a problem with Lunar Lights. Um, but, uh, there are some I don't mind. Like, um, blue cat. Um, yeah, it's, it's still good for what it does. Um, I'm not likely to ever use the other effect to double the attack points of a lunar rise. Um, it could happen though, because I am playing a cat dancer in the extra deck, but we'll get to that later. Then three copies of Rescue Cat, um, one of the most iconic monsters in the game. Um, and uh, here's the monsters it can special summon, uh, one of which is Lock Cat, although uh, special summoning this card isn't preferable, um, as I'd rather get uh, its normal summon effect, which is, well, basically. A junk synchron for the deck like uh, when it's normal summoned I can target a level 1 beast type monster in the graveyard and special summon it in defense mode with its effects negated then three copies of crystal beast amethyst cat um, then two copies of the fabled cat sif open this curtain a bit because it's getting a bit dark there we go now you can see everything better then one copy of a dark cat with white tail, um, with a tricky effect to pull off, um, which is to return two monster cards on the opponent's field and one on mine. Um, then a cat of ill omen, and then uh, one of my favourite main deck cards, Melfi Catty. Um, then catnipped kitty um i think the effect was only ever applied once which is uh this card cannot be attacked if there's another beast type monster on my field and uh, it makes the defense of one monster on the opponent's field zero until the end of the turn um and then one copy of watch cat um let me grab a continuous spell um, then one copy of uh, Cash Eve level L2 um, I don't know if I'm saying that right um, it's, um, this is neither a beast nor a beast warrior it's the only monster that's a cybers um, then two copies of Fluffle Cat, because uh, I am playing Polymerization in here, and there is a fusion monster that I can go into. Um, and then the last card is three copies of an old favourite, Cat's Ear Tribe. Um, and uh, yeah, attacking into it is very risky. Because um, uh, it says that during the damage step of the opponent's turn, the original attack of that monster becomes 200. Um, so, yeah, unless you have 
Utopia the Lightning or Armadies, you're not going to be able to attack over it, basically. Especially if I have Fire Formation Tanky on the field, because, uh, yeah, this card is a Beast Warrior. Um, oh yeah, and um, Fluffle Cat is a Fairy as well, so yeah, these three uh, can't be special summoned off rescue cats, obviously. Anyway, that's it for the monsters. There's quite a lot of monsters, actually. Um, for the spells, I have three copies of Obedient School to special summon my low level beast monsters, then two copies of Polymerization, one Fire Formation Tenki uh, to grab. Blue Cat or Cat's Ear Tribe, um, and then Spell Staples consisting of Monster Reborn, Regeki, and Twin Twisters. And for the traps I have Quantum Cat, um, which has some pretty cool artwork. Um, activate this card by declaring a monster type and an attribute. Special summon this card as a normal monster, level 4. No attack points, 2200 defense points with that type and attribute. Um, I want well, see it's just an extra monster to put out. <laughs> That's all it is, really. And it's a cat card. Then uh, Mirror Force, Storming Mirror Force, and two Solemn Strikes. Yeah, not many spells and traps. Um, but it still works. And then for the extra deck, I've got three fusion monsters, uh, two of which are Trishula, the Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. Um, yeah, I can actually make this with this, this deck. Um, just needs any three monsters with different names, and I can either fusion summon it properly or banish the materials from the field. Um, but I'm never going to be able to use its other effect, because um, besides this card, I don't play any dragons. Um, uh, that effect will never go off, it's just a 2700 attack beat stick. Um, and then a single copy of Lunar Light Cat Dancer. Um, yeah, they're the only Lunar Lights that I'm willing to play. Um, and I do play Synchros, since the Fabled Cat Zip is a tuner. Um, I've got two level 5s, which are Catasta and High Speed Roid Chambara. Um, I feel like I should be playing Armadies, since it's the best level 5, if not one of the best. Um, yeah, I'd say it's one of the best. Um, you know, TG Hyper Librarian is definitely one of the best, but um, that's more for Synchro Spam decks than anything. Um, but because I'm playing the Fabled Cat Sif, um, I'm also playing a couple of Fabled Synchro Monsters. Um, sorry, there was crap in one of the sleeves. Um, I'm playing the Fabled Unicorn and the fabled Kudabi. Um, their effects are tricky to use, but they're still there if I need them. Then Old Entity Hastor and Armory Arm. And then for Exceses, I'm playing all of the Melfi Exceses, um, one of which is two copies of, I guess, the boss monster, Joyous Melfis, and one copy of Melfi Mommy, and uh, one copy of uh, Melfi of the Forest. And then, uh, to finish things off, I have two copies of Ronin Raccoon Sandayu, um, which of course is great for anything that runs level 2 beast type monsters. Um, and uh, I haven't got any links. Um, don't really have the room to play them, really. Um, and, uh, well, I don't have any spare nightmares. Um, 
I know they'd be good in the deck. But, uh, and yeah, that is it for the deck of cats. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment, share and subscribe if you haven't subbed already. Um, yeah, it's a really fun original deck with no specific theme to it, it's what, apart from the fact that uh, the main deck is all cat monsters. Um, it, uh, obviously there's a, a lot of stronger decks than this one, but it's fun, and that's all that matters. Anyway, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching, be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.